Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot. It's episode number 58 and today we're returning with a massive double head out to face the Red Devils, the three time champions at Molyneux, then Aston Villa away in a Midlands derby. Now ordinarily I'd show you what's been going on off camera, but as we know there's been nothing going on off camera. We saw the last three games in the last episode, the big win over Hoffenheim to its free to the Europa League semi-finals for a second straight year, but then the... Big, big loss at home to Everton. So in the Premier League right now, as you can see, we are still top, but only by three. We blew our chance after Arsenal's three straight losses. Unbelievable. We've totally blown a chance to go six points clear. They are taking on Bournemouth today. I think that's at the Emirates. No, it's away from home, but I think they'll go out to winning ways in that one. So if we are to stay top, we need at least a point here against Manchester United. I'm feeling fearful. You know, I'm feeling really, really fearful. I, I just, I just feel now, we've, we've just began to, I don't know. Just recently, there's a lot more fear. You know, I preferred it when we were chasing as opposed to leading. You know, there's a lot more pressure now. But heading to the game, one player's down. That's Bruno Jordao. Everyone else is fine, and this is our team. Four-two-three-one. Unizing goal. But for like Nuri, Eric, Johan, and Aaron's War Prowse and Force before the middle. Jota and Drinkout on the wings, and Wendy is sporting silver up top. Who this season just hasn't been that great. Boy, a chance to get back in my good books today. On the bench, Henderson, Chris, Semedo, McTominay, Traore, Nato, and Rao as well. First of two, it's massive. Manchester United, the past three champions, come on, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Don't really know why they've been quite poor this season, sat in a Europa League place. Um, yeah, just, you know, three straight titles for them, but this season's not quite gone according to plan. But for us, again, I, I wasn't targeting this at the start of the season, so, you know, I'm not going to be gutted if we do fail to win the title. String cow! Oh! oh. Had his shot saved by De Gea. Just seemed to go in slow motion across the line there before the Petty puts you out behind for a corner. I won't be too disappointed if we don't win the title. Just the top four was always going to be good enough for me. But even so, now we're in this position. It's Den Tonka. <laughs> Agent Den Tonka gives the Cherries the lead and puts them in front. Come on. Arsenal went on an absolute crusade where they just won every single game in a row as War Prowse is going to... What's happened there? Well, that was a weird free kick routine, but the hair makes the save. Not sure what Jota and Ward Prowse were doing there. But now, I mean, you can't watch Arsenal lose four straight games in a row and not capitalise on that. Come on, Wolves. Jota on the ball, beats his man, hits the post, and him and his scrambles it away. Four minutes in, brilliant start, but yet to find a back of the net. I know that one of those four losses that Arsenal had in this run has been inflicted by us, but the point still stands. Cannot miss these chances. And right on cue, that's exactly what Fabio Silva does. It's just been that sort of season for our star striker. Just hasn't been consistent. He wants a new contract. I don't give a fuck. He's not getting one. Simple as that. Simple as that. I'm, I'm standing firm in this. He can ask to leave. He can ask for a new deal. But mate, you got three years left on your deal plus a one-year extension as well. What right do you have to a new contract when you're on that sort of money? None. Maybe if you were scoring like 30 to 40 goals a season like Jimenez did a few years ago, maybe I'd consider it. But in this form, absolutely not. Bournemouth are still leading. We're still tied. So at the moment, we're going four points clear. And I think, despite the dominance, I think I'd probably take it. We've been a better team here. Keep doing what you've been doing and we'll be fine. No need to change anything at the moment because we're playing well, just haven't taken the opportunities. How many times have I said that? And Martinelli has leveled things for the Gunners directly after the restart. And Bournemouth are back in front and now it's 2-2. Gee, I can't watch this anymore. Come on, Wolves. Come on. Absolutely dominated all game long. Only lost at Molyneux one time all season long. And that was in the last episode against Everton. Aaron's down the right. Yes! Come on! Does he get a new contract? Nope, still standing firm. Silver takes the chance, Wolves in front. That's a brilliant ball across the ground by Max Ahrens, by the way. And this season, he has been so good, mainly on the offensive end. And what a signing he's been from Norwich as a long-term successor to Semedo. So as things stand, if results stay the same as they are, we're going five points clear. There's 18 minutes to go. I can't take this. Oh, Bournemouth in front! Bournemouth in front! Right, um, right, uh, NATO on for Trincao, Warprouse has a little knock, so I'm going to take him off for McTominay. I think I'll change he and Forsby's roles around, but make Forsby a box-to-box, -box, a real high-energy midfield duo, and I think I'll leave it for now. Eight minutes to go, we, we've dominated all game long, it's no less than we deserve. 
And as things stand, we're going six points clear. But you know something that constantly happens in this save and my Fulham one? It's just a common component of FM21 for me. Martial tackled and away goes NATO. And he's tackled himself. Come on, it's surely going to be ours now. Surely in a game we've dominated, we're not going to throw away in the final minute of normal time, are we? Surely not. Not again. Martial trying to get around Aaron's going all the way. And way fires it well off target. And that has got to do it. I'm not going to make my third sub. I'm going to leave it. And Wolves are six points clear. Wolves are six points clear. And Arsenal have lost four straight. Finally, 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 after all the years, things are going in our favour. Persistence pays off. I can't believe Arsenal have lost four straight in the league. I can't get over that. When you look at what they've been doing for all of this run, from the 7th of December on to the 8th of March, they'd won every game but two and tricky ties against West Ham and Leicester. But now, four straight defeats. FM really do be like that sometimes. They have an easier run in than us. Yes, they got a North London derby, but then Derby leads away at Crystal Palace and Watford away right now, bottom of the table. I would say their running is simpler than ours. But even so, we've, we've gone several clear. We've cut the goal difference record now, just a goal scored. I've got to say, I mentioned this in the last episode, if we don't win the title now, it's a bottle. And there's no other way of putting it. So, moving on, second and final game of today's episode. Um, Arsenal's game, I don't know if you'd have mentioned it, as, I don't know if you've seen it, sorry, um, during the look at the schedule is tomorrow night. So before we end the episode, we'll process through that North London derby there on the Wednesday. Now, if Spurs were hypothetically to win that and inflict Arsenal's fifth straight loss and we were to win tonight... That would mean we'd go nine points clear with four games to go. Now, that's a big if, but it is a possibility. So, heading into the game, this is going to be our team. Couple of change on the back of the win on the weekend, with this one falling on Wednesday nights. In fact, I'm going to make one last minute alteration as well. As I just, I, I don't know whether you guys are the same as me, but now this has changed from a percentage to the hearts and the fill of the hearts. Good is fine. But it's still a bit too tired for me, you know. Unless I've got to play them, they're going to be on the bench. So this will be our team, 4-2-3-1. Unai's in goal. Back four is like Nuri. Big Chris coming in. Yoan and Semedo with Keita and Forsby through the middle. Traore now, last minute change on the left. Nato on the right. And Buendia sporting Silva up top. On the bench, Henderson, McTominay, Williams, Warprowse, Jota Trincao and Jimenez as well. Second and final game with a chance to go nine points clear for at least 24 hours. Oh, come on, Wolves. Aston Villa right now sat in mid-table. They're not going to make a late run for European football. They're also completely safe. So nothing really for them to play for tonight. But unfortunately, in these sort of games, when you think, you know, the opposition don't really have much motivation, they often just really turn it on. And right on cue, they've taken the lead. It is a derby. It is a rival battle. And they want to stop us winning the title. They've got a goal up. Hey, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Just keep it calm. Keep it calm. Plenty of the game to go. We took the game to Manchester United, yet tonight we've had one shot and it hasn't fallen on target. So frustrating. So frustrating. Lads, we could go nine points clear tonight with four games to go. And we've done fuck all in the first 45 minutes. Get a chance going or something. Right, you know what? Evidently, this is not working. So I'm going to say I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. And we're going to do what we did against Arsenal, if you remember, um, a couple episodes ago and switch to the Gigan Press mid-game and see if it works out for us. No, that's the 5-3-2. That's the 4-2-4 I want. And yeah, let's change it up here. So Forsby will now be a box-to-box. -box. Okay, it continues sitting deep. And I think I'll take off... Hmm, Buendia, I think. Yeah, Buendia on that right-hand side. Swap those two around. I'm going to bring on Jimenez to partner Silver up top. We always said what would happen if these two play together. Well, Jimenez no longer in his prime, but he's still been our top scorer this year. He's going to come on for Buendia. So one change and one tactical change. Question is, will it work once again? Come on, Wolves. We've had our shot on target now. We've yet to get a highlight. However, that could change right now. Adama Traore, the speedster, who's been nothing like the first couple of years, but still every now and then produces a moment of magic. And right on QE5, just over. Playing with more intensity, it seems, but we need a leveller. Come on, Wolves. Come on. 
This should be a win. Instead, at this point, I'll take a point. Jimenez back to White Nuri. And the left back looking to continue to run down this flank here. And then whipping across to Silva. Headed away, but Keita will pick it up. 40 yards from goal. Out wide is Nelson Semedo. In for Max Aaron. He's got the assist for our goal against the Red Devils. Our right back back to Keita. Nato receives it in the area. Crosses one in. Concer clears. And Aston Villa are on the break. And Johan has done well to win that back. I bloody love Johan. I really do. 19 years old, this kid. And one of our players this season, Nato, on the halfway line. Sprints from right to left. Past the centre circle. Needs a teammate, surely. And out wide is like Nuri. offload to the left back. Now Traore takes over. Back to the left back. In goes the cross. Silver's offside. That won't count. It's a decent cross. It's a decent header. But that's offside. I could tell that from a mile away. Yeah, there's no point in even looking to replay that. That was definitely offside. Um, I mean, I, I always say, like, if, if I can spot it, then it's clearly offside. Silver is a mile offside there. So clearly the right call. But, but we've got chances in the second half. We just haven't taken them. Right, fuck it. Might as well lose the game 2-0 by chasing a level up. Let's go very attacking. Push our wing backs up. We're as far forward as we can get now, really. Uh, no, let's, let's not go slightly more direct. Uh, run at defence, be more expressive, uh, distribute quickly, counter press now. I never like to counter press. And uh, we're pushed up as high as we can, really, aren't we? Let's go much higher now. Let's just really go for it, shall we? Yeah, why not lose the game 2 0 by chasing a leveller? So, as things stand, we're going to have a big, big, big loss against a rival. That hurts. Trincao tackled, and Aston Villa will clear. Five minutes to go. We're going gung-ho now. We're going gung-ho. As Big Chris finds Forsby beat and the Norwegians offload to War Prowse off the bench. Is there going to be a late hero and a late level? A Jimenez past one. Traore, Nate, and Nuri in loads of space to cross. Oh, the fucking crossbar. And like Nuri's cross cleared. Goal disallowed, rightfully so. And then the bar rattling. The tactical change has really helped in the second half. But we just... Haven't found that leveller, and that's going to do it. Oh, I can't believe it. Two defeats in three, and we're choking it. We're choking it. Massive, massive, massive loss. How do we not get a point there tonight? Can't fault any of your performances. Just one of those days. You're going to have them every now and then, and when we're literally games and points away from the title, you don't, you don't go harsh on your players. Absolutely not. Oh, I could have gone nine clear, it remains at six, and that means if Arsenal do win the North London derby tomorrow, the gap is cut to three, and they'll have a better goal difference record as well. I can't see this! Well, we'll process through together. I really can't see Arsenal losing five straight games, I'm sorry, but I can't see that happening somehow. Um, yeah, I, I, I somehow can't see Arsenal losing five games on the bounce, but hey, you never know. You never know. Come on, Spurs. Come on, Spurs. Nope, there it is. The gun is back to winning ways. Look at that 11 goal thriller there at Old Trafford. But the gap now cut to three. The goal difference is Arsenal get the advantage. And we have choked it once again. We're still top. We're still top. And if we win our remaining four, we win the title. If we win three of our remaining four and draw the other, we win the title. But it still seems like we're here right now. I don't like this pressure. I don't like it. Okay, but hey, we're top. Calm it down. We're still there for now. But that went into today's episode of the FM Reboot, guys. Big thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do drop a like. Much love to you. Have a fantastic day. I can't, I can't miss a game, guys. I really can't. This is ludicrous, man. This is ludicrous. Another Midlands derby. West Brom away. Will it be deja vu like on Tuesday night? Or will we bounce back and stay top and end the first leg? Borussia Mönchengladbach away in the Europa League semi-finals in Germany. This is absolutely mental. And I can't take this pressure. I am just sweating like crazy. But have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Much love to you. And I'll see you for the next episode of the FM Reboot. It just gets more and more dramatic very soon.